Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Jerry Reese, the wise? He was a GM so powerful that in his first year as GM of the New York Giants, they won the Super Bowl. Four years later, they won the Super Bowl again. He's kind of like me. I used to be the GM of a New York team and I brought them to the championship. But since my championship days, I have not been that good of a GM. The Lakers, I've been their GM two years now and we've literally accomplished nothing. Our players, Lonzo Ball, he has literally not improved at all since his rookie year. It's been really disappointing. Brandon Ingram has also been really disappointing. I know the fans are mad. Jerry Reese won two championships, but now look at the Giants. They're what? One and seven? One and eight? They're playing the 49ers after I record this, so I don't know what they'll be. They might actually win another game. You know, if you're a Browns fan, you're saying, Jadel, we always suck. What do you know about losing? What do you know about the pain of losing? And I'm gonna tell you, you don't understand. When you're accustomed to winning, like the Giants or the Lakers, losing hurts a lot more. And the Laker fans, they're hurt by how I f this team up. So today we're gonna try to fix my mistakes. First thing we need to talk about, a lot of you guys asked why the hell I traded Kyle Kuz instead of Randall. I'll explain that right now. The first season I was with the Lakers, Randall and Kuzma were the same position, the same age, the same overall. The difference between them was Randall has six badges. Kuzma had one badge. Randall had B potential at the time and Kuzma's potential was not as high. So according to 2K, dude, I sounded like Korzemba there. According to 2K, Randall was the better player going forward. In real life, I would keep Kuzma, but I go with what the game's ratings say. I don't always follow my heart if it tells me a dude literally has six times the amount of badges and higher potential. It seemed like he would become the better player. Honestly, Randall hasn't done anything and Kuzma, one badge is reserved. That's not a good badge, but he's still the same exact rating as Randall. Randall has actual badges, so that, that is why I traded Kuzma. I know a lot of you are upset. Kuzma has been balling in real life. If you're mad, you should be mad at 2K for not raising his rating. His rating should be higher. If his rating was higher, obviously I would have chosen him over Randall, but 2K doesn't believe in the Kuzma. It's not that I don't believe in Kyle Kuz, it's that 2K doesn't believe in him. All right, so now, I've given up on Ingram. My man's 22, he's still only 78, he's really not gotten any better. We're rolling with Isaac, 22. See, this is the same situation, same age, same position, but he's better. I like this deal only because it means I get so much cap space at the end of the season, plus he gives me players who can play now. We're gonna be risky, we're taking weird trades like this. I want the cap space. I know we probably won't make the playoffs this year. We're setting up for the upcoming free agent class, we're gonna sign a big fit and next season we're gonna make our championship push. This season, trust me, the players will get better. Now I can't even find a trade for Brandon Ingram. Nobody will trade for Brandon Ingram, wow. Let's look at our rotation. Got Lonzo, Fournier, Isaac, Nance, Deadman, Ingram, Seth Curry, Simmons, Biombo, Bull. Oh, I forgot we drafted Bull Bull. He should start for us. I'm not expecting a lot this season, but we do start out with a W against OKC and a W against the Warriors. And then Seth Curry got hurt, leave the rotation as it is. And then we beat the Clips. Look, we're 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. We're doing pretty good early on. Are we gonna beat OKC again? All right, our first loss of the season. All right, now we're kind of reverting back to the norm. Just lost four straight after winning five straight to start the year, five losses. All right, we're still above 500. And Ingram got hurt. Are you kidding me? We're right there in the playoff picture. Maybe we could make a run this year. I mean. Low expectations though, we're not expecting to make the playoffs this year. This year was supposed to be like a final year of rest and preparation. Wow, we went from 5-0 and to 9-14. and That means since we went 5-0, and we're 4-10. and 9-17, and we're firmly out of playoff contention pretty much already, but at least we were able to string out some wins in a row. We just can't get any Ws right now. This is an embarrassing stretch. And Larry Nance keeps pinching the nerves in his back. Dude, Larry Nance gets hurt every two seconds, I swear to God. I mean, we are picking up so many Ls. How did we start the season 5-0? and Trade deadline day. Let's take a look at our roster. Seth Curry He's leading the team in scoring with Lonzo, Fournier, Ball, Isaac, and Ingram. So Nance has been kind of bad this year. Maybe we could find a trade for Nance and Deadman. I don't really know if they have a place on this roster, Nance and Biombo. Kevin Looney, last night against the 76ers on the Warriors game, destroyed the Sixers. That dude is actually a beast in real life, but is he a beast in the game? Doesn't really look like it. Could be an interesting pickup though. Larry Nance really not doing anything for us. Looney's younger and a higher overall. Dang. 
taking on that contract sucks, but it does expire at the end of the year, so it's not a big deal. I kind of like this. Looney, he'll play. We already have too many people on our rotation, too, so it's better to put a better person in it. Looney really doesn't have any shooting. That's one of the problems with Looney here. So, having two big men who don't shoot, I don't really like that. Maybe he should be a backup. Isaac, 6'10". We'll put him at power forward. We'll put Ingram at small forward. This might be the ideal lineup for us, playing kind of small, and then Bol Bol is a huge big man. But let's see if that helps us, a new small ball lineup. Maybe that's what we need. And we start out the small ball era with a W against the Timberwolves, and an L against the Kings, where Seth Curry has shin splints. Oh my gosh. Why, Seth? Why do you have to get hurt? Somehow, with a small ball lineup, we only scored 64 points. I don't know what is up with the sim engine in this game. The small ball lineup kind of worked for like a game, and then we just we just sucked. Clips W, OKC, L. All right, contract extensions. <laughs> Does anyone really need an extension on this team? We've been so bad. Fournier will re-sign, but he's definitely going to have to take less money than he has in the past. Nine million a season, I like that. That's a fair option for us. Getting Fournier for a lot less money than we had him before is a good contract for us. I'm happy with that. We are literally scoring like 60 points a game. Lonzo Ball is not orchestrating the offense. And now Fournier has shin splints. I'll just have the computer adjust the rotation going here on out. Our record doesn't matter at this point. We suck. Westbrook just won MVP. Is that his fourth straight MVP in this simulation? I think it is. Bull Bull, rookie of the year, baby. Let's go. Vucevic, six man defensive player, Giannis. Ooh. De'Aaron Fox most improved. Whoa, De'Aaron Fox is a cool picture. All right, let's see who's going to win the finals. Cavs lost in the first round again. Wow, the Knicks with nobody on their team win the championship. The New York Knicks behind a 92 overall Chris Stapps. And we don't even have <laughs> anything because I traded that pick assuming we'd be good a few years ago. So the Jazz have our pick, which was the fourth pick. But honestly, it doesn't matter. I think next season's going to be our year. Greg Popovich is a potential coach. You know we're going to try to sign him. Give this man a salary. Give this man a big salary. We're offering Greg $6 million a year to be our coach. So hopefully he takes that. Popovich accepted. All right, this is the year, boys. We got Greg P in the building. Player options, of course, we're keeping Lonzo and Isaac. Qualifying offer to Ingram. He's only a 77 still, though. What the f***? We have $33 million in salary cap room. This is our time to sign a big free agent. And there's no big free agents this year. There is Draymond Green. Bring on the Draymond, but we're going to do a team option at the end of that. So hopefully Draymond accepts our contract offer. Draymond re-signed with the Warriors. So now Millsap. But I do, I, I do not want to sign a 35-year-old Millsap to $28 million or a 35-year-old Aldridge to $22 million. Neither of those seem like a good idea. Maybe this year we just need to get depth. Alfred Payton or Pat Bev. Pat Bev. Alfred Payton's younger, but Pat Bev will just be around for this year. No, we'll sign him to a two-year deal. Offering deal to a lot of smaller players right now. Ingram, he's expecting so much money. Hopefully no one offers Ingram that much money. I don't really want to match Ingram with a huge contract because he just doesn't get better. He literally does not improve. Even I improve. I've literally been playing every day for the last month and I've gotten like twice as good from just practicing every day. Ingram, you suck. Maybe we could try to sign Millsap for a one-year deal. I don't want to sign him to a big deal, just a one-year deal. Powell accepted, Beverly accepted, all right. Paul Millsap signed with the Grizzlies, that's fine with me. I have all of this cap space, I just don't know who I want to go for. Isaac Bonga, 21 years old and he's an 80 overall, holy cow, what's his potential? A B? Bro, this guy, let's sign this, wow, he wants a big deal. He could be a savior of the franchise. It's a risky signing, but honestly, cap space doesn't do anything for you if it's not playing, so we'll sign him. Beverly, can't sign anymore. Still have 12 million in cap room to play with. Should I sign Tristan Thompson? I don't really want to sign him for that many years. I just want a one year deal. So we'll offer Tristan Thompson the one year. Come off the bench, he'll sign with us. Now we're just gonna wait to match Ingram's whatever offer Ingram gets unless he accepts our qualifying offer, which I would prefer because he's still only a 77. No badges. Did accept the qualifying offer, so he does want to be a free agent at the end of next season. Player progression. Lonzo, finally, he got to 83. Isaac got to 82. Wow, people actually improved. I don't believe it. I mean, how are you only an 83 after three seasons? You started at an 80, man. Bull Bull got a bit better too. Training camps, we have three. I'm gonna send Bonga to potential. Got a B plus now. Now, everyone else, I mean, like Lonzo, potential, A plus before, A plus after, but he doesn't even get better. It doesn't make sense. Isaac will also send to potential. They just don't improve. I don't understand why my players don't get better. So let's check out the rotation. Lonzo, Powell, Ingram, Isaac, Bull, and then off the bench, Bongo, Loon. So that's a, it's a deep team. It is a deep team. This is a Greg Popovich type team. A lot of deep, good players, not really a... All right, 
Popovich always does have a superstar though. Like low key, everyone's always like, Popovich never has a superstar. Tim Duncan is one of the best 10 players who's ever played basketball. How can you say the dude never had a superstar? So maybe this is not a Popovich team. First five games, will we start 5-0 again? No, we will start 0-1. And Isaac Bonga already got hurt. Bro, it's been the first game, man. Why are you getting hurt already? We're getting offered Rashawn Holmes for Looney. Let's negotiate it. Holmes has a similar contract. He is one overall better and he can shoot. So he's a better fit for our team. I like this trade, let's make it. We're one and one, come on, man. Make a push, Lakers. How are we only two and two? Come on, beat Memphis. There we go, pulling out the dub, three and two. Firmly in the playoff picture. We beat Cleveland. We lose to Boston. And now Bol Bol is hurt. Oh my gosh. There's so many injuries. And I had the injuries set to such a low meter. We are out of the playoff picture. And now Fournier is hurt. Maybe I'll have the CPU make the rotation. Maybe that'll help. Hey, we won a game. We won a game. Being offered Rozier for Simmons. Let's negotiate it. We do need a backup point guard. I don't know how I feel about this trade. 26. You can shoot. You know, we're really not doing... Simmons doesn't even play that much for us. Let's just... Let's take a flyer on this trade. Why not? All right, I'm going to lower. Everyone's minute to zero. We're going to rebuild this rotation. It's not working for me. Lonzo should be playing a lot. 37 minutes suggested. I'm with that. Norman Powell, 26 suggested. All right, I'm with that. Isaac, 29. No, Isaac's got to play more. Isaac's playing like 32. Rashawn Holmes, only 23. No, Rashawn can shoot. He's going to go up to 26. Bull Bull is going to start, and he's not playing 22 minutes. He's playing at least 28. All right, Ingram's our sixth man. Get him up to 26. Bongo, another sixth man. Get him up to 26. Get him to 18. Rozier, let's get him to six. This is the rotation for now. That should be a good rotation. We should beat the Pacers. Let's check out the roster. They're 16 and 8. Okay, they have Oladipo playing well, Turner. Geez, their team's actually kind of good. They're better than us, but we should beat them because I said so. We beat them! Inspiration Ting! 2 and 0! You know what? We're 2 and 0 since I changed the lineup. Let's leave it how it is. We don't need Fournier playing. He's not making things better. We win three straight and Rozier gets hurt. Let's leave it how it is. Hopefully this lineup still does well. Hey, but we're in the playoff picture again because of those changes. So it's all good. All right, now we've lost two. Come on. Come on, Lakers. Let's pick up some dubs. All right, how do we lose to the Nets? Well, we need to pick up some Ws before the trade deadline. Come on. Don't lose to the Raptors. Dude, everyone is getting hurt. I literally have the injury set to like five. Like it starts at 50. I set it to like five and people get hurt all the time. Next time we do this, I will turn off injuries because this is like not even realistic. People don't get hurt this often in real life and I had it set to happen less than real life. So I decided to do a trade finder and it turns out we can get Devin Booker for Bonga and Isaac. They're giving up a lot to get Booker, but we need a star. Like we need a star. We're not doing well. We gotta mix things up. I've mixed things up a hundred times already. That's probably why we're not winning because I don't keep it consistent, but we needed to get a superstar on the team. Now we have Booker and Lonzo together. Is this the push we need to make it to the playoffs? I hope. And now now we're not as deep at small four because of that trade. We need to find a new small forward. We already have a backup point guard in Norman Powell. So Denzel Valentine, let's just check. Can he shoot? He can shoot. So this is a good trade. We're only giving up a second round pick. Getting Valentine on a better contract, higher overall and younger. Gives us a backup small forward we needed. Right now the rotation looks okay. Hopefully Booker can help us win some games. If we have a good run in the second half of the season, we could make something happen. First game is against the Warriors. Probably not going to be a good one for us. We lose by Bro, we lost by 45 points. 45 points we lost by. All right, we beat the Jazz. And Rozier broke his elbow. Now Thompson's out. Rozier is out. You know what that means? More minutes for Lonzo. More minutes for Booker. More minutes for Ingram. And let us put back-to-back -back W's on the board. Beat the Spurs. There we go. All right, come on. Maybe we can get some momentum going here. Just get some momentum. The West is really bad this year. Look, the last... The eighth team is 23 and 32. All right, there we go. That's our first dub. Next game, an L. Come on, beat the Spurs. Pop, you know that team better than anybody. Every time we get a dub, I get hyped, and then I realize other teams are getting way more dubs than us, and we just know. Popovich could not save this team. Obviously, I'm the worst general manager in the history of sports. I mean, we did win more games than last season already, so we did improve. I've already said this like six times, but maybe next season's the season we make our big jump. Giannis won MVP, it wasn't Westbrook for once. But Lonzo Ball made all NBA second team. That's a good sign for us. Maybe next season it will be the year, man. I don't see why not. And the Warriors 
beat the Bucks 4-1, and we're gonna have a top draft pick. We have the third pick in the draft. The Suns have the first two picks though, wow. Well, that's where I'll end today's Lakers GM. I usually only do five gears, and if our players progress, man, the poor Laker fans, they're hating. They don't want to watch this anymore. They're done with this series. They don't want to see me screw their team over anymore. But we'll do one or two more seasons. We'll make it work, guys. I will bring a title to LA. I'll try. Leave a like for this video, guys. Comment why I'm the worst GM of all time. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Peace.